In 2009, Netto launched its Japan-US Smart Grid Collaborative Demonstration Project. The project, Netto's first Smart Grid and Smart Community Demonstration Project, is being carried out in the US state of New Mexico and is scheduled to be completed in March 2014. The project was launched in New Mexico, a region blessed with substantial raw natural resources of wind and solar power. The project is being carried out in collaboration with Los Alamos National Laboratory and Sandia National Laboratories, which operate under the authority of the U.S. Department of Energy and have extensive expertise and know-how of smart grids. The state of New Mexico, Los Alamos County, Mesa del Sol, PNM and the University of New Mexico are also important partners in the project. The demonstration project is being carried out in residential and commercial areas of Los Alamos County and Albuquerque, the largest city in New Mexico. The Los Alamos National Laboratory operates in Los Alamos County under the jurisdiction of the Department of Energy. Los Alamos, with a population of about 20,000, is located on a mesa at an altitude of 2,100 meters. The area has a generally dry climate, but has the most occurrences of thunder in the USA. The city of Albuquerque is the largest city in New Mexico, with a population of 760,000. It sits at an elevation of 1,600 meters, near the Rocky Mountains. The weather is sunny for about 300 days a year, with very dry air. The Smart Grid demonstration in Los Alamos aims to demonstrate a highly reliable system that will not adversely affect power grids even when unstable photovoltaic power generation is introduced on a large scale in residential area power grids. The demonstration site is structured as follows. Using distribution lines from a 15 megawatt distribution substation, 2 megawatts of PV power are interconnected from 1 megawatt at the Japan site and 1 megawatt at the U.S. site. At the Japanese site, three distribution lines are used to modify the rate of solar power introduction by switching the switchgear of the distribution lines. A power flow control system has been installed in a community energy management system that flexibly absorbs PV output and utilizes 1.8 megawatt storage batteries, smart houses, and demand response signals to manage customer demand. There are seven Japanese entrusted companies at the Los Alamos site. Toshiba is responsible for constructing the general system, including the microenergy management system. Hitachi is manufacturing the large-scale power conditioning system, which is equipped with security features for a large-scale PV system and a lead-acid storage battery system. Kyocera is coordinating the smart house and constructing a large-scale PV system. NGK is providing NAS batteries. Itochu Techno Solutions is managing the PV power generation forecasting. NEC is implementing the equipment to stabilize supply and demand. And SHARP is designing the home energy management system and home appliances. In addition, NEDO has launched collective research using data from the Los Alamos site. Toshiba and Hitachi are verifying the effects of the smart grid. Kyocera, NTT facilities, and the Tokyo Institute of Technology are evaluating the PV. Toshiba, Cyber Defense, and Kriepi are researching cybersecurity. And Toshiba and NEC are developing model simulation techniques. A micro EMS is an energy management system that systematically controls power flow in distribution lines by absorbing PV power fluctuations through storage batteries and demand response signals. It also uses weather information to forecast PV and feeder demand. 
The demonstration aims to reduce PV fluctuations and manage power flow in distribution lines by controlling NAS batteries and lead acid batteries through PV and demand forecasts. Depending on conditions, it's also possible to implement demand response signals for customers, including a smart house. A micro EMS records real-time information of the system, and a user interface has been installed to monitor and control the system through a grid chart. The demonstration includes implementing hybrid battery controls for lead-acid batteries and NAS batteries. The batteries are used in implementing controls for unstable PV power and demand peak shifts. Lead-acid batteries reduce fluctuations at short-term frequencies, while NAS batteries reduce fluctuations at long-term frequencies by utilizing the advantages of each battery's attributes. The Japan Sites 1 megawatt PV systems consists of 10 different types of 10 kilowatt PVs, in addition to Kyocera's 900 kilowatt polycrystalline PV module, and a mega solar use large scale power conditioning system equipped with a Hitachi voltage regulator and low voltage ride through functions. Based on the 10 different types of 10 kilowatt PVs, Differences in attributes for the modules in New Mexico will be analyzed and evaluated. The Smart House is also an important part of the demonstration. A 3.4 kilowatt PV system, 24 kilowatt per hour lithium ion batteries, an energy storage heat pump water heater, and smart electric appliances such as air conditioners, have been installed. A demonstration of optimally controlled smart houses is being carried out utilizing supply and demand forecasting, demand response signals, and PV power sent from a micro EMS installed at the Home Energy Management System, developed by Kyocera and Sharp. NEC's power supply stabilization equipment is utilized to deliver power to houses, even during power outages. For example, during sunny days, when PV power generation is high and electric rates are low, electric energy is stored in batteries and heat storage equipment, and electric energy is supplied in the morning and evening from batteries. Furthermore, based on electric rates, a hierarchy of states is established according to demand levels. Based on the demand response hierarchy, consumption controls are increased at higher demand states, such as state 4. And conversely, consumption controls are reduced at lower demand states, such as state 1. Through the cooperation of the U.S. and Japan organizations involved in the Japan-U.S. Smart Grid Collaborative Demonstration Project, project results are being spread around the world.